good morning guys good afternoon good evening depending on the time you are watching this video welcome back to my youtube channel yes bobby if you are new you are welcome if you are old thank you for subscribing and thank you for sticking around so today's video is gonna be kind of different i'll be speaking in english language and for my russian speakers you can use the subtitle i also made a subtitle for you guys so it can be easier for you guys to understand but basically this video i'm trying to discuss about the differences in nigerian university and in russian university basically i studied in nigeria i had my the first degree i did it in nigeria but i didn't complete i had to come to russia to continue my studies so i got like scholarship so why i want to say okay in russia what i noticed that was different is the admission day so basically in russia school starts on the first of september which is called the uh, knowledge day so every school is both secondary both primary both um, university that is the first the first september actually when i got my admission to the university that was the day the rector will come the vice chancellor by the way is the same as rector they will come and give a speech tell everyone we are welcome to for those that are new you are welcome to the school and then after that we went to the class some teachers will come and introduce themselves but in Nigeria, when I studied, we just started school. Then after a while, there is a day they will fit for matriculation where people will come and celebrate with their parents and for the achievement because it's not easy to finish secondary school, high school and get admission to the university. Some universities have a way they, they plan the stuff to look like matriculation. But you know, it's not all universities in Russia that does that. Mostly it's universities that have foreigners for them to feel that vibe. That's why they implemented such ideas like in my school where i studied that's what they did but basically my first day i just went to class teachers came they introduced themselves they said we'll be studying this and this this is your teacher this this and this and everybody left another thing that i noticed is the examination even before the semester start oh when the semester has started either at the early moment of the semester or towards the exam period you are given a list of questions that will be appearing during the exams will appear on there so the, the probability of you having those questions is like 99.9 percent .9 because they will not set any question as part aside outside that list they give you so there are two kinds of method to take exam to give exam one is usni which is called oral oral examination and pismina which is writing so both of them you can encounter both of them it depends on the teacher that is or the lecturer that is conducting the exam some will say you should first of all write then after writing you guys will come one by one because who finished first will then come then you have to defend what you wrote so the questions that you picked what and what and what you have to explain then there are other teachers they don't care about oral they just give you a question you write they take the paper they go and mark and give you your result others they don't like writing because they feel like it takes time some other teachers they prefer oral method of giving examination so you have to just come you pick your ticket you read then they give you like five to ten minutes to prepare yourself then you start answering they start asking you questions start asking so the way you answer it depends on the kind of mark you have so basically that's the two ways you encounter exam if you're a student coming to study in russia you can either encounter both or differently it's in russia once you give your exam you are giving your result instantly sometimes it might be after a few hours maybe if you guys took it in the morning the teacher will say after break you guys should come she will then give you your result instantly and everything is already history if you didn't give they will then tell you when to come and give the teacher might tell you okay tomorrow i'm conducting this exam with this group of people come and join them or she might tell you wait when every group have written there is another day for everybody that couldn't give the first time from different groups to come and give so it depends on the teacher some will tell you okay group one and group two have not given so join them if you didn't give with group two group one have not given join with group one so the teacher will tell you no wait for the general retaking period when all the whole groups have written the ones that couldn't give will then come again then after that one they will set another option too for people to give if you don't give them then the teacher will hand over the case to the department then the department will create what they call commission basically they will create a commission or will i call a committee what's the work of this committee this work of this committee is to test and see either this child is or this student is not serious or maybe he's having 
problem with this particular teacher so they will bring another teacher who will help to ask your question and if you can answer well then they will let you go but if you don't answer well that's over you have to retake that semester particularly in russian education the grading system is like five four three and two is like you didn't give it means like you failed five is excellent four is very good and three is satisfactory so basically what you have to do is to try to get five and four if you want to graduate with a good degree with a good cgpa that's very good because in russia for you to get first class you have to have a cgpa of 4.75 and above and secondly you shouldn't have three which is like satisfactory mark you shouldn't have that and also when you are defending your thesis you have to give it with five like that means you have to give, finish you have to defend with an excellent mark then some school there is what they call um, ghost exam what is it called it's like state exam you have to also give it in five which means you have to have an excellent result for you to be able to have what they call krasny diploma okay about the degree in russia so basically when you see someone say they studied in russia and they graduated there is only two kind of degrees they will give them one is red diploma and the other one is blue diploma cover page but your degree your mark everything is there it's just the cover page of the degree so what red diploma means red means that you finish with an excellent result which basically in nigeria you can call it a first class degree then blue is kind of if you are, if you didn't finish first class then it can be second class upper second class lower third class that's what the blue kind of represent and for you to get first class in russia to get that krasny diploma the thing you have to do is you have to finish your whole semester so basically your cgp is supposed to be 4.75 and above secondly when you are defending your thesis you have to finish you have to have an excellent result which in russia is called five then there is what they call ghost exam like it's an exam being set by the government not all university do that or do do have such exam but if you give that exam you have to finish also in PIAT, which is excellent you have to have excellent grade so it's not just only having C cgpa of 4.75 you also have to defend your thesis and also write the exam and finish with five which is at least or excellent result so you don't have to have three so of course even if you you have five 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 which is excellent excellent and you mistakenly have one subject three you can't get a red diploma majority of your marks should be five five and four the majority will be more of five then few of four but not three so basically also some university they will have to do a medical check for you every semester that what does it mean you need to go to the clinic to get a stamp to satisfy that you are okay to go ahead to the next semester and to maintain the physical group that you are that means what i mean physical group i mean like physical activity group the sport group or, or whatever that you are for you to continue that they have to go and collect a letter from the clinic and they will have to stamp on what they call it's like your booklet your result booklet there is a space behind at the ending of the pay uh, of the booklet where there is it's meant for clinic it means for clinic that's what so physical education in russian curriculum is compulsory it's something you have to do yeah when i came i was surprised because in nigerian university where i studied it's not compulsory maybe private universities in nigeria you do have such thing but in government university you're not forced to do physical education it's your own way but in russia here yeah, it's implemented till the last semester when you're not allowed to do so because you need time to focus on your thesis some universities they stop at third year, some universities um, fourth, first semester, fourth year, depending on the university. But it's something that is compulsory. It's done twice in a week or thrice, depending on the school. So basically, I like it. At first, it was crazy, but I like it because it helps you to keep your physique physic, physic very okay. And it's not only just coming to school to study, to train your mind, you're also training your body and etc. So it's compulsory something in Russia and at the end of the semester, you must collect a report from your teacher and they grade you. They give you some physical activity to do. The more, be the better you do it, the more, the better mark you get. If you don't give it, it can affect you that semester. So it's something that you have to try as, pos as much as possible to do. Sometimes I do skip. Sometimes people skip. It's not every time you attend it, but 
you can do what they call atrabota. What does it mean? It means like if you didn't come to some school and do that, one day the teacher will organize a day for you to come and repeat what you missed. To do what you missed, sorry, not repeat, but do what you you missed so as to increase your opportunity to have a better mark. Yeah. But if you don't come, some teachers might not take it serious. They'll just give you they'll just give you three, which is satisfactory mark, which is not good. So if you're someone that is trying to get first class, you don't have to have three at all. You don't have to at all. One subject. So talking about textbooks, you can go to the library when they give you a library card. As you got admitted, you are given a library card. So each semester, the teachers will list the subject. They will list the textbook you have to go to the library to collect. So you use a library card, you go and collect them. And at the end of the semester, you return it. If you don't return it, it will affect you because when you are about to leave the school after your fourth year or your fifth year, depending on your year program, once you are done, for you to sign out from the school to receive your degree, you need to go to the library to collect a signature from them. So they will check their history and find out if there are some books you didn't return, you have to return them. If you misplace them, then you have to pay fine for them to put their signature on the, on the form so that you can be able to collect your degree. So another thing, teachers don't, they don't sell their books. Even if a teacher writes their books, they give it to the library and you get it from the library. No teacher will tell you, come to my office, come to my department and buy my book or pamphlet. No, it doesn't happen that way. So if they are the ones teaching a subject and they wrote a book concerning that subject, they will advise you guys to go to the library and collect such book. And you don't pay anything unless you misplace the book. That's when you are being fined. Another stuff that I liked that I noticed in Russian universities is the contact between the lecturers and the students. So every lecturer have it a, have a space on their timetable or schedule. They have fees for consultation. So basically, if you attend the class, you didn't understand some of the things. You can meet the teacher during her consultation period. She will explain. It's comp but in Nigeria, <laughs> when I studied in Nigeria, I never had such experience. Man, there is nothing like consultation. Uh, you have to consult your either it's a student that will really understand the subject to explain it for you or maybe yeah you might meet your lecturer because not all lecturers that you meet like that some of them feel like they are god sorry to say so but some of them feel like they don't need you or this thing. but yeah you see professors over here in russia you see professors coming one-on-one -on -one with you to explain something they are even happy because they feel like you didn't understand something and you came to them to understand more that means you are you are showing them sign of seriousness it's not that like you are forming some people might be pretending just to get the lecturers and uh, what's it called good side but at the end you better you are pretending on it is a good thing at least if you're not pretending it gives you an opportunity to meet the teacher one-on-one -on -one to explain some things the teacher might even explain it well far better than one. then of course in russia there is no strike there's no labor strike and there is no all those things like in some in nigeria universities you can see there is level strike and school will not be operating like for like six months four months and that can affect your time if you plan to do four years in the university you end up doing like five years because of these little little strikes and uncalled for so but in russia if it's four years it's four years unless you couldn't give some exams after so many attempts that's when they will then expel you then you have to repeat again but if you can go the first time and you didn't give then you go the second time and you give it's over your your year is the same you finish fourth year if it's four year program you finish that program when it's four so that's another advantage of studying in Russia than in Nigeria, which I find it interesting. But it's not all Nigerian universities. Well, again, in Nigeria, there are private universities and there are also government universities and state universities, like federal universities and state universities. But mostly people that get affected are the state and federal universities because when those workers or teachers go on strike or labor workers go on labor strike, it affects everybody. But private, uni private universities, they are the ones that pay their teachers, so it doesn't affect them. They might have internal strike, but they know how to solve it. So it might not affect most students that study here. So when you have a four year program, your four years is four years. So it's basically like in Europe too, or in Russia, when you come to do four year program, you finish it. I don't know. Okay. I believe so people repeat too in private universities because it's not everyone that will give you exam once. So I don't know how often I don't have any experience from private universities. But I believe they do also have the opportunity. They give someone an opportunity to write an exam if they can't give the first one. Because a friend of mine told me maybe before the beginning of the next semester, they are giving another opportunity to write the exams that you couldn't give from the previous semester. So which if it's that, that's good. I think that's what Nigerian University have to implement. They have to give students the opportunity to write more exams so that they will not have that mindset of curve, waiting for another semester for one subject. 
it's kind of frustrating and i never had such experience but uh, i know people that had it it can it can deep it's, it's very frustrating so i think nigerian government to have to think about that